Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new document on Pixlr. So we're going to click Create New. And then we're going to choose the Instagram size, but we're going to change the height. Instead of the default 1080 by 1080, we're going to go 1080 as our width, but then we're going to change that to 1350 as our height. That's a 4 by 5 aspect ratio. Then we'll go ahead and we'll click Create. So that's going to give us a canvas that looks like this. You'll notice a toolbar on your left, an options panel across the top, or an options bar across the top, and then uh, several different panels on the right-hand side. Uh, you can sort of adjust the layout as you like. I'm going to keep it in this mode right here. Once you've downloaded the project files, we're going to go to File, we're going to go to Open Image, and we're going to navigate to the image that's called fox.jpg. This image comes from pixabay.com. It'll be linked in the video below. Now we're going to um, add it to the current project. We don't want to open up a, a new one, so we'll click Add Current. And then what we're going to do, once it takes a moment to think, is we are going to resize it. And so what you'll see is that when it comes in, we have these resize handles. Notice that our selection tool up here, or our arrange tool as it's called, um, has several different options, including the ability to auto select a layer, which we will keep on, and then always show transform, which we will also keep on. These are all of our settings that we'll use. So what we're going to do is we're going to resize this by simply uh, dragging it from the corner. Um, I would recommend you using a mouse if you have one. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier to to move around. Um, you can scroll in and out by using your scroll wheel. You could also use two fingers to drag up and down. That will do the same thing if you have a trackpad. So once we've resized that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our eyedropper tool. And I'm going to sample this color gray right here because we're going to make the background layer, or what is currently called layer zero, which we can rename by clicking on these three dots right here. We're going to call it BG for background. Uh, we've already sampled that gray. Notice if I click on the uh, foreground color, the hex code shows that it's not actually white. It's a very light shade of gray. On my BG layer, I'm going to use my paint bucket tool in order to fill that in. Now, if you look really closely, it's almost uh, hard to see. Um, th there may be a little line right here that's at the top of your fox layer. So what we're going to do is temporarily turn this background layer off by clicking this checkbox. And then on our fox layer, which is now active and highlighted blue, I'm going to use the cutout tool, and I'm going to use the brush cutout tool, or the draw cutout tool, with a brush size that's about 150 or so, with a softness of, uh, I don't know, 40% or so. Basically, what we want to do is we want to cut out this line right here so that it sort of fades in to the next layer below. So that little softness right there will hide any lines that might be showing when I turn that back on. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do, zoom out right here so we can see the whole picture, is click on our top layer and we're going to add another image to this project. I can do this another way. I can click the plus button right here and it'll say what type of layer do you want to add. I'm going to add an image layer. Now this image that we're going to add is also from our project files. I'm going to click on concert.jpg. This image also comes from uh, Pixabay. We're going to click open that'll add it to our document like so. We're simply going to resize it so that it's sort of flush with the bottom right there. You could resize it if you wanted to, but you don't really have to based on the next steps that we're going to follow. Okay, next what I'd like to do is click on these three dots and we're going to adjust the blend mode. Currently it's set to none, so they're not blending. Uh, this one's not blending with the layers beneath it at all. And I'm going to change it not to multiply, but you can actually go and look and see what happens. Multiply, they're going to sort of interact together and it's sort of this funky way. I'm going to choose overlay. And so this is going to create sort of a double um, exposure effect, which is sort of a photography technique. You can sort of see the image um, is mostly only visible on the image layer beneath it. Now to really make this uh, show, I'm going to add a uh, an adjustment to the fox layer. If I go to adjustment, I'm going to change the hue saturation to uh, make it totally desaturated. So that's really going to pull out the color of the fox layer that's going to allow the concert layer to overlay in sort of a, a neat and interesting way. Now what we're going to do again with our concert layer right here is take the uh, draw cutout tool and I'm basically just going to increase my brush size and I'm just going to sort of cut out this area of the picture because I don't really want any of that other stuff right here. Now your computer might go a little bit slow 
as you're trying to do this. Uh, mine's going slow because I'm sort of recording what I'm doing, but it should be fine on your machine. So I'm just sort of cutting out any of that evidence of the layer below, or rather any of the, the concert layer um, in the background. Just I really only want it to show up on the picture of the fox. And I'm not going to cut out just with a soft brush this right around his eye, the fox's eye, just because I think it's sort of interesting. All right, the next thing that we're going to do, add another layer. This one's going to be an empty layer this time. And what we're going to do is use the gradient tool and then the options panel. I'm going to click on uh, the different gradient tools. Right now, this is a transitioning from the foreground to the background color. They're very similar, so I'll sort of demonstrate what that would look like if they were different. So you could see now with the gradient tool selected, um, this would be foreground to background. It's a little bit more significant. We're going to choose one of these presets, this sort of pink to blue sort of color. And now with the gradient tool, I'm going to draw a line straight down like so. And that's going to transition from the pink to the blue uh, very slowly. And then what I'm going to do is change my blend mode uh, to overlay once again. And that's going to sort of put that color overlay that's transitioning from the pink to blue on the double exposure. And now I'm going to duplicate this. It's just going to make it a little bit more saturated, um, sort of enhance the technique a little bit further. All right, so this is the end of the project. What I'd ask you to do now is go ahead and go to File. We're going to save this two times. Once we're going to save it um, as uh, uh, a PXD, which is the native file format for Pixlr. So we're going to call this Spirit Animal. And we're going to choose PXD. We're going to go ahead and hit download. Make sure you save this to uh, your class folder. It'll create it and it's going to say, you know, where do you want to save it to? So I'm going to put it in my lesson one folder. Click save. And we're also going to save that. We can click close. We're going to save it again. File, save as, or rather save, there is no save as in this program, as a JPEG. I'm going to, again, call this spirit animal. And as a JPEG, we'll click download. It'll take a moment to say, where do you want to save it? And again, we will save it as such. Now, your task will be to uh, follow these directions uh, and then turn in the JPEG version of your project to Google Classroom. Best of luck.